Guardian. Uh, can you of the uh, developing countries are looking to This is not just about getting any old deal, and it is really important to say that. We want an ambitious outcome that respects and understands the science. And the truth is that the politics is behind the science. I think the politics has done some catching up uh, in the last year, but there is a long way to go for the politics to catch up with the science. I, I have to say, though, I don't think that Plan B is a good option at all. In other words, putting it off, um, I don't think is an answer. Because as I was saying to someone last night, this isn't going to get any easier. The truth is that actually I think while this feels incredibly difficult, and it is incredibly difficult, the truth is that in a sense the stars are aligned in a way that makes this actually the most propitious time for an agreement. We have a new American president. Uh, we have a, move, a global movement on this issue that has meant in part that 130 leaders will be coming here. And we have a situation where the world is watching climate change in a way that I don't think it's ever done before and indeed watching events at Copenhagen. That's why we have to go all out to get the best agreement that we can. That's not about getting any agreement, but it's about getting the best agreement that we can consistent with the science uh, in the coming days. I think that basically the first week went all right. It's always difficult the first week, but basically I think that people have come down to work and that's what we're trying to continue today with the way we'll structure the work today. And I just consulted the G77, so I cannot go into details now, but uh, that will come later today. So I think everybody knows that the deadline is getting very, very short and they have to get it done. Things are moving. Yeah, things are moving? Yes. Yes, yes. What direction are you moving? We are moving in a constructive way. In a constructive way. We want an agreement.